In today's video, we'll be writing to a Snowflake table directly from within Tableau Prep. Within Tableau, you can take your prepared data and write it directly to Snowflake. During the data upload process, you can create a new Snowflake table without ever leaving Tableau, or you can set up an incremental load to a Snowflake table that already exists. It's really important to note that if the table name that you use to create a new table already exists in Snowflake, that table will be deleted. So before we begin, make sure you've made note of your Snowflake account information, including your username and password. We'll need those for this tutorial. And after I walk you through the tutorial, we'll discuss just a few of the common errors that some people encounter and how you can resolve them. So to get started, open up your Tableau Prep Builder, and we're going to use one of the sample flows called World Indicators. So click on that World Indicators sample flow. When you do that, you'll see this screen. And so on the, um, on the screen, you can see the plus. Make sure you click on that and then select the option of Output. On the left hand side, now you'll see um, a drop down menu which you can click on. It's next to the Save Output To, and you're going to select Database Table. Next, click on the drop down arrow next to Select a Server underneath Connection, and then Select Snowflake. You're going to want to fill in this screen with your information. You'll need to use your Snowflake server and your username and password. And then don't forget to input the role as account admin. That is optional on the screen, but, um, but you'll want to make sure that you input that role so that you have access to everything in Snowflake. When you're done, make sure to click Sign In. Select the Snowflake warehouse and database from the drop-down menus. I'm using the database that we created in a previous tutorial called MySnowPipe underscore DB. After selecting the warehouse in the schema, you'll be prompted to select a table or create a new table. Click on the drop down for Write Options to select either Create Table, Append to Table, or Replace Table. And then I selected Create Table. Next, you'll click on the Create Table button. Then click on the Run Flow button. And that's it. Success. We've got our flow run. We'll want to go back into Snowflake and just confirm that the table was successfully created and the data was loaded. And we do that and see that that is indeed the case. We have success. So what happens if you um, experience some errors at the end where the data doesn't get loaded? Um, you might receive an error that says your drivers are not current or you don't have permission to write to the destination database or the file. So if your drivers aren't current, I'm going to show you where to download current drivers from Snowflake. And we'll talk just a minute too about um, using the correct role and having the correct privileges. So if you don't have the correct driver, or the current driver. Um, within Snowflake, you would click on the Help button and then um, select the ODBC driver and go ahead and download that um, newest driver. And that should take care of your problem. If the problem is um, that you don't have the correct access, um, you might check, double check again that you did use the account admin role. If for some reason um, you are not the person who set up the Snowflake account, um, and or you're using a different role than account admin, then um, you'll want to check with the account administrator to make sure that you have the correct privileges to create tables in Snowflake um, and you have the correct access. And so that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, check out my other videos on YouTube. And I hope that you connect with me on social media. Thanks so much.